Hi there, viewers. Welcome back to Face to Face. Um, yeah, I look very weird right now, but trust me, it will get better. So, about today's talk. Um, well, before I start, let me <laughs> introduce myself. My name is Sophia, and I'll be your host for approximately one hour. And today we have a special topic to talk about, and we're, we're going to talk about cosplay. And we have our precious guest here, Miss Putri Noni Lovita. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name Hi. is Putri. Actually, this is, uh, it's what it was my real name. My stage name is Yukitora KG. Nice to meet you all. Thank you very much for the uh, introductory. So, um, talking about cosplay and stuff before we started. So, have you been to a talk show before to talk about cosplay? Um, no, but this is my first time. So this is your so first time. So it's really really exciting. So Can you're not nervous. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. but you're okay. Surely you're okay. So, um, you surely have been interviewed by people, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. mostly they interview you about cosplay? Yeah. Well, Cos you're well known about cosplay anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I see. So, do you have any other hobbies other than just cosplay? Yep, like making costume. Oh, it's cosplay related. Mm. It's very related to cosplay. Maybe other than Drawing? Costume. Cosplay Drawing. related. Mm, singing? Dancing? Singing. Something singing, like dancing. that? Oh, sleeping is my hobby. <laughs> oh, well, I, I love sleeping too. Sleeping is also my hobby. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves sleeping Everyone and loves eating sleeping. too. Yes, eating. <laughs> Definitely. Like pizza, junk food and all. No junk food. No junk food. Why? Burger, okay. Burger. <laughs> <laughs> well, burger is junk food though. Yeah, <laughs> and you just have no junk food. <laughs> okay, so to you, what is cosplay? Cosplay is like my uh, my dream. Your it's dream. Like I'm. Every kids have a dream, like meeting his or he, her favorite character, and like I want meeting superhero. Or yeah, like something like that, and or just become the superhero mm -hmm. or become the character. So. Is like make my childhood dream come true. Can ah. be can I so I can become a the character that I love. Even it's just one day. Even it's I just. I understand that we all have that kind of dream. Like oh, when I was really young, I really wanted to be to be a mermaid, like Ariel. Yeah, me too. But then I can't because I don't have a tail. <laughs> I have legs. <laughs> I can't be a mermaid. <laughs> can keep calm. Please keep calm. It was my dream. So yeah, me too. I understand about. No, we have a silicone right now, so we can make it. Yeah, and all right, we have silicone to make the tail. Yeah, maybe I'll make it later on. Yeah, teach me. Let's make it together. Sure, we Thank can you. be a double mermaid. For the shot by the sea, by the beach. Yeah, it's going to be great. Nice idea. So, <laughs> talking about cosplay, how did you get to know cosplay, and when? Uh, it's around 2009. 2009. Oh, that's pretty far away. But actually, I already wanted to having a cosplay costume since when I was long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. You don't <laughs> like quite remember your age then. Uh, I don't remember the, the year, but I remember the age. It's around seven. Seven? I want to cosplay as Sailor Moon, but until ah. right now, this is like a dream cosplay and never come. Oh my god, no, 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 you please. You should do it, you should do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already by the week, but... Since seven. Yeah. Seven. But the first costume I have is not Sailor Moon. Moon. <laughs> it's a Princess Jasmine from Disney. Oh, wow. Well, I've seen the photo. It's really pretty. It's really yeah, pretty. Yeah, chubby cheeks. Chubby cheeks. Yeah. But now you're, you're handsome now. Yeah, I feel kind so. Of <laughs> but actually, Adolf is not a. Oh yeah, before I forgot, I'm going uh, today. I'm cosplaying as Adolf Reinhardt from Terraformers, and actually, the character is not talking. It's like <laughs> the silent type. Yeah, yeah, the silent the type. Silent the silent type. type. But when he talk, like, <gasps> oh my god, he's so handsome. <laughs> yes, I know, right? Most of the time in anime, when we see. Um, a man or a guy or a character who is just so silent, well, there is definitely something behind. Either the heart, either the personality, or either the sexy voice. Yeah. Please and <laughs> Adobe is like... <gasps> precious baby. Yeah, my precious electric eel. Electric eel. 
Well, anyway, I'm cosplaying as Lina Lee from The Grand Man Hello, which is up the upcoming anime, which is also the high because I follow the manga. And yeah, I forgot the. I also have a The Grand Man project. Really? Mika Makanda. Oh, maybe you can join my project. Yeah, sure. When? Next week. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we are tap, uh, we are on video right now. Can we talk it privately later? Sure. Okay. No problem. No, so back to topic. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I so think the crew is seeing us like, what they are talking about. <laughs> no, it's totally chill. <laughs> so talking about cosplay, like um, you have been wanting to join, like. Um, doing cosplay mm. since you were seven. That, that's really young. No, no. I'm actually I'm not uh, joining cosplay since seven. But mm. I have a dream to be ah. wanted to be a character since seven. So when you wanted to join, when you first joining cosplay around eleven years old. Eleven years old. That's still pretty young. Yeah. I joined cosplay when I was. 13 or something but you know people are like oh that's weird why are you doing this yeah yeah me too but my grandma the one who support me like oh you want to try cosplay just try it yeah, something Ooh, like that so that, that's a nice motivational person yeah yeah well she is always support me whatever i do singing dancing acting so like cosplay i know <gasps> wow so your family is totally supportive towards this hobby? Not all of it, but only my mom and my grandma only. Ah, I see. So uh, when now, now that you have joined the cosplay mm. community, right? Mm -mm. As a part of the most important idol in cosplay community? Uh, I don't think I'm an I idol. You are, you're my idol, so let's just make it that way. <laughs> okay, okay, but I don't really <laughs> get it. I'm an idol. I just like doing my hobby for fun. I see. But still, you make people like um, admire you, your efforts in making costume, your efforts in learning makeup and stuff. Everything that you update on Facebook is really admirable. So really? Yeah, really. I just, I just don't get it. I mean, like, I just like to share what I love. So I mean like that. <laughs> but the efforts that you put in the thing, in, in cosplay that you love, that's what make people admire you so much. Really? Yes. Is that so? Oh yes. I, oh my god, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you have to know about it. Shy. That. You have to be aware of that. Shy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, what made you want to join the cosplay community? Like, um, some people like to go solo and just go for photo shoot, but you actually go into the community, join in the events and stuff. So, what made you want to join that? It's look fun. I love, I really want to have more friends. And it's like, why not? We have a friends here, a lot of people that have the same hobby, mm -hmm. same share, and it's like gather each other, help uh, help each other, something like that. So this is seriously a positive community that really full of creative people. So it's like everyone is so awesome. Everyone starts learning, everyone become their own hero, become their yep. own um, what super character and then they all have fun yeah i kind of understand that but i haven't even joined the community by now because i just but came to jakarta so i don't really know how to go to places no need to worry about joining community or not you're doing cosplay you're already joining us oh really <laughs> thank you but i i don't i still don't get the feeling of going to events and stuff because i don't really know how to go and how to socialize with people well, for me, uh, I also have a socially awkward, and it's like cosplaying not always be must go to event. I have uh, of, uh, some friends that live overseas, like I'm, jo uh, I'm a cosplayer, they say, but they didn't go to event. Uh. They just doing photo shoot, share what they love, and I'm a cosplayer, they say. Uh. Cosplayer is like sharing your love to the character, it's not must be joined on event always ah, something I like see. that I'm, I'm very glad to hear that because i'm really scared i'm not I'm, I'm like not a part of the community well as long as you're fun in it fun joining cosplay wear the costume acting like the character you already become a cosplayer thank you very much so we're going to talk a lot more about your your cosplay experience later on after a convert. really i don't really have enough experience <laughs> i think <laughs> we will hear about that later so stay tuned at face to face
welcome my viewers to face to face we're still here with putri to talk about cosplay well calling me putri is a bit awkward not well, because i'm cosplaying as a male character right now <laughs> um i usually call by my stage name yukitora keiji can ah. you please call me that yukitora keiji oh my god okay but that's uh, quite the manly name how did you come up with that name yeah yukitora keiji is my favorite based on my favorite things i like snow yuki and tiger tora uh -huh. and keiji is my favorite character in sengoku basara so it come out mixing together yuki tora keiji oh so is it, that's quite the manly name i mean you, you you're a female right you're a woman and then you cosplay but i a uh, little bit boys <laughs> i yeah. see so you can do both yeah boy and girl you do both and you're here as a handsome man i'm very happy okay thank you so talking about cosplay when you first started cosplay you started as jasmine from yeah. disney and well it's long time it's before long i'm time going ago. join a really cosplay ah, i see. I joined really first time really i think i am a cosplayer in 2009, 2009. when i'm 11 and i'm I'm wearing an original character, original mixing character. by Jasmine costume and my mm. old modeling costume, and it's come on like, poof, original character. I've seen pretty much all of your photos, pretty much all of them. So I, I've been wondering, um, do you make the costumes by yourself? No. No. Uh, it's not not all of it. Not all of it. I just start learning sewing last year. Here. And so this is the costume that I really, 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 really make by yourself, my back made by myself. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my English not really good. No, I'm so sorry. Totally okay. And but that's very impressive. Look at that. You can just flip the the back part and flip and flip. <laughs> I mean, it's so it's it's so amazing how you can see all that. You learn that by in in one year. No, I'm just learning around nine months. Uh, nine or six months. Wow, that's forget. fast. You're a quick learner, aren't you? And my school only only have one year to learn, so we need to learning fast. Ah, so you're currently in fashion then? Yeah. Oh, you're learning fashion. No wonder. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's 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 full of detail, and you you you've been doing so well in in that costume. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Not really. Oh, by um, for your information, I have already seen her costume from up close before this starts, and I've been groping my hands around her <laughs> costume, and I know it's damn good. Really? I admire you. I still need a lot of learning. Well, at least you do. You do efforts, and this is your result. And wow, that's that's amazing. Yeah, a lot of project I haven't done. <laughs> Please no. Please that's, forget that's about another that. case. That's Please another forget case. about that. <laughs> that's another case. So, um, like in cosplay, we usually see characters uh, or superheroes with their weapons and props. Mm -hmm. Do you make them by yourself too? Yeah. If uh, props, I make it by myself. I make it by myself. But before I joining the school, mm -hmm. I go going to tailor and asking them to ah. make the base costume, but the detail like a uh, embroidery or something, I make it by myself. Ah, so I see. because I love the character, I wanna put share, efforts. yeah, put effort, share my love on this costume. So even I can't make the costume on that time, I want to make it like the character with my love, with my effort. <laughs> so I understand. My, my English quite bad. I <laughs> no, it's totally okay. Quite become nervous right now. Oh, don't uh, be. Pretty girls, look at me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not pretty. <laughs> okay, we go back to cosplay yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I know you're handsome. So okay, okay. <laughs> so about costume though, now that you have um, learned sewing and you learn how to make costumes and stuff. So how much time do you need to complete one costume? It's quite complicated to answer because not. It's I don't know. There's um, like let's say example this costume. How much time do you need to for complete? the base costume uh, until done? It's three days. Three days. Three days. But because I have a free time, but since I have quite go to school, having joined some event over. Mm -hmm 
uh, in other cities like my time is quite limit so mm -hmm. maybe one month one or month. yeah around maybe I have a costume that never done <laughs> it's like three years ago three I years? never done oh. it it is like still have a time sewing have a time sewing it's uh, so uh, uh, what do you spend your time mostly sewing no <laughs> no <laughs> sleeping sleeping Watching anime uh, play game, play game. Go to school. <laughs> stress out about why I have a lot. Why I have a lot of homework. Oh my god, I don't like it. It's but like but 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 you said that when you have a time, you will see you. You will see you. when I'm in the mood. Oh, when you're <laughs> in the mood. Okay. Uh, when I'm on hype on this character, it's like take three months or something that mm -hmm. I really wanted to make it. It's not like oh, I like this character and I make it. No. I see. Ne need really time to get into the mood. After get into the mood, right. forget to sleep. <laughs> then, oh my god, I think I want to sleep early. It's like 5 a.m. Why <laughs> didn't sleep last night? Something sometimes like you, you, uh, Well, sometimes we do forget about things when we do things that we love, right? Yeah, I but I love I sleeping. That. Well, I love sleeping too. <laughs> so talking about something like cosplay, there must be advantages. There must be the plus points for cosplaying, right? Yeah. So what do you think the plus points is like in cosplaying? I have a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. uh, back again, I joined this community because this is an uh, interesting community, mm -hmm. really creative. And it's like, I want to have friends here. More friends, more better. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Uh, and more, I have a lot of experience like I I have no idea how they make a Gundam first. Mm -hmm. First time I think like, how they make it? It's like what? so complicated. <laughs> yeah, and the property and uh, material they. I have no idea how they make it. I mean like, it's just a foam and become a Gundam. Oh my God, it's so awesome. But we at first we don't know, but then after we join in cosplay, yeah, we know we quite know. a lot of well, things how it's done. My mom. If every girl have a mom and when she is, uh, when, how I say, the mom give a b give the present on present? And her birthday. Uh -huh. My English not b uh, quite bad, I'm so sorry. It's okay. So my mom give me a head gun. Head gun? <laughs> Every girl mom? got, got <laughs> giving giving a makeup box or something. Uh -huh. My mom gave a hot glue gun, <laughs> head gun, cutting paper. Maybe cut she cut. wants you to learn. Yeah, my, because my mom like it ah. doing the cost, uh, doing making something like that. So it's like, oh, this is a glue gun. So you glue this with um, attaching another piece with other with glue gun is more faster than you using a. That smelly, ah, <laughs> smelly ah, glue. The so usually glue, right? Yeah, so it's like my mom giving that. And so your mom teaches you quite a lot in cosplay and stuff? Not really. Some, some things that, something, sometimes I learn my, myself and my mom learn from me, but mm -hmm. mostly, yeah. Because I have no idea how to make it. Ah. So basically in cosplay, you, you, get more, you, you get to know a lot of people new friends, mm. and then you get to learn how to make things that we usually don't know. Yeah. Like how to sew costume and how to make the props, the guns, and yeah. like, like, like Become what, more the, the sword and stuff. You get to learn a lot, basically. Yeah. I see. Really so creative. what do you think about the modeling, like in photo shoot? Do, do, we, do we need to learn that? Or do you think we should just, you know, follow or some just be natural? Mm, yeah, I uh, because my basic is modeling, so I think it's ne really neat because cosplay is related with photography, so it's like you need to make the character come out, even if just in the photo. It's like, oh, he's cosplaying as uh, Naruto, oh, he's cosplaying, but it's just a photo, but they know the feel of the character, so mm. we need to learn how to pose also because mm. Um, some angle, some pose can really relate it to the character. I see. That's pretty deep because I have done once modeling for my friend's um, work in photography and it was really tough. Like in modeling, it's not that easy as yeah. people really think. One f 
uh, I each time I taking uh, photo shoot is like two hundred photos, 200 but photos. only twenty or ten photos that really really get into the character. Uh, I I kind of kind of understand that because we have like a lot of photos and maybe the only morning. five because some yeah. other is blurry. Yeah, <laughs> I understand that. But the hard thing about modeling we in, in cosplay is that we need to, you know, some of the some of the characters do have heavy props or heavy weapons. That's pretty tough. Have you ever had that kind of experience before? Yeah. But well, I love the character, so I don't really think about it because my grandma have her say something like this to me. If you wanted to become a beautiful, then you have you must be have something that you should let go. It's mm -hmm. like comfortable. Wearing an eyelash is uncomfortable, right? Yes. So it's like if you wanted to become a beautiful, you yeah, just you always have to sacrifice something. Yeah. I see. Well, that's that's meaningful. I kind of understand that. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk a lot more about cosplay. We have so many questions I want to ask. So let's stay tuned. <laughs> at face to face, so see you later, viewers. Welcome back viewers to Face to Face. We're still here with Yuki Torakeji. Yuki Torakeji to talk about cosplay. It's hard to spell. No, no, I mean, it makes it sound so manly. Fits you right now. Oh my gosh. Thank okay, you. so we talked about the advantages of cosplay before. So let's talk about the disadvantages then. Okay, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Really? Really, I don't want to tell. No, 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 really? no, no. Like maybe the hardest part in making cosplay? Yeah, fail. Failure. Waste a lot of money like Sultan. <laughs> <laughs> Waste a lot of money like Sultan and then yeah, and it turns out not right. Yeah, I mean like I have a costume that it's a Queen of Pain. Uh. I make the test up more 10 times. 10 times? Wow. And it's fail. Ah. I you have to start it from the, the beginning the again? beginning again ah. until the pattern is right be because before uh, I'm making that costume before I'm joining the school so it's like wrong pattern wrong again make again make it again make it is like wow. I have uh, actually I only make it two weeks two weeks but one month for uh, uh, I don't want to make it. <laughs> the pressure is long. Ah, no! Something like that. <laughs> the pressure. And lack of sleep. Lack of sleep, definitely. Yeah. Like before event, and then you're like still invited. making the costume. <laughs> <laughs> you have to rush. I cannot make it. Yeah. Still sewing, still sewing. No, I cannot yeah, make the it. The detailing is like, Mama, uh, the <laughs> even only two hours later. No, 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 still making. It's like, oh. <gasps> Okay. Two hours to even, and and then you're still detailing. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, okay, I kind of understand. So lack of sleep, and then the failures definitely, and then the pressure, and yeah. then the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I kind of understand that, but I don't quite get it because I don't usually make the costume, but I do make like. You should make it. I you will learn. know how fun it is. I should learn. It? I should learn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what makes you so motivated in cosplaying? Like other than just passion, maybe like we all. We all have the kind of moment when we feel ah, so tired. Do you get that? Yeah. You get tired, but what makes you motivated? Like you keep want to cosplay and cosplay and cosplay? I watch the uh, the anime or play the game again and gain my passion back. Passion back. Gain my love back. So when you have a passion for something, and you just can't stop doing it. Yeah, and also my friends support it. It's like, uh, sometimes it's like, I don't know how to make it. Can you help me? And they teach me how. And it's like, oh, oh is that so easy? I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> why well, I don't think about that before? Something I like see. That. So we're going to have a slideshow showing your cosplay. Really? 
Oh my yeah. god! And oh my god! To, we're, and we're going I to talk about it. I don't want to see that. Really? Oh, why it's not? Like <laughs> but they are so amazing, though. Like um, your cosplays, we have picked like several photos for it. Really? Yeah. Like. Oh my god! Are you Akasha? a stalker? No, I'm not. <laughs> Akasha, pa- uh, the Queen of Pain, and then we <gasps> have the Poison Ivy. Oh my god! And then we have what was it? Uh, Sasha from Pandaria uh, Saga. Yeah. Uh. And then what else? Ah. What was that? The the one with blonde hair? Mary Rose? Yeah, Mary Rose. Tintel girl? Oh my yeah. god, she's so, so cute. Let's see if the slideshow is showing up. Where, where, where? Where I should say? Oh. oh, there it is. Now the first one will be Mary Rose and the second one will be Sasha. Sasha. Look at that. I mean, I mean, it's not that clear from here, but you can see that the Sasha costumes, there's so many accessories on it. There's so many details on it. Yeah. How, how did it go? Did you rush it or did you make it like slowly taking your time? No, it's rush. I mean like rush. one week before event, uh, Shasha is a uh, quite fast costume I make. It's like one week or two weeks wow. I, if I'm not... F- I Yeah, something like one that. One week, that's f- quite fast. Yeah, it's um, actually a sponsored costume like 50-50 by Fandaria Saga mm-hmm. and 50 by me. So it's like, yeah, and you know, Sasha is not a girl. Sasha is not a girl? Yeah. What? What? I, I don't know about that. You should know, Sasha in Russian is a man name. Really? Yeah. But what about that character? Man. A man? Yeah. A man? <laughs> really? Yeah. A man? I also shocked before I um, <laughs> did the... Uh, the Fandaria crew spoiler me like, you know, Sasha is a man. Really? <laughs> then I watch, uh, I read novel. It's like, oh, she's, he's, she's sh- a man. Sh- so pretty. <laughs> I don't know if tell you she or he. So pretty. I well, just know. like you, I don't even know you're a guy or a girl. I mean, you're so handsome in 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 in, in adult. Uh, be my wife. <laughs> my wife sits on me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil the story. But because Eva is, <laughs> yeah, that kind of girl. Okay, so let's talk Eva. about Mary Rose now. <laughs> Stop spoiling about terraformers. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about Mary Rose. Okay. Uh, let's just continue on to the next slide. Okay. Wow, wow, this one is full of detail, and this one was the one that you said you felt ten times in making that chest armor. Yep. Wow, but well look at the results, so pretty. And what about that 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 Ooh. thing by the arms? Um, the sleeve. Yeah, the sleeve. It's wow, wow, it's so pretty. Not and really. And about the first picture though, did you guys during the photo shoot put a light behind or was it an effect? A light behind. A light behind. Wow, but look at the details. I mean, you must have spent a lot of time in that. Nope. No. Nope. One nope. week. One week. Wow. Around. So one week of failures and then you finally succeed in no, making no, these No, 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 no. One month of fi- failure and one week for success. Oh, okay. I just <laughs> make the, the leg armor only a few hours, ah. include the detail and it's like... Because I'm on hype, so it's like, oh, I make it, la, 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 and forgot the time, la, 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 something like that. Oh, and finally, finally done. Wow. But wow, wow, that's that's impressive. I mean, I usually see people doing the t- tutorial for the armor and stuff. It usually takes time for the painting to dry and stuff. I am not paint it. You don't paint it. No, I am. How to say is, um, oh God, my English. <laughs> so basically, I'm you just add the details, or no, 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 no. I adding the layers of ah. Uh, imitation leather, mm-hmm. shiny one, and then adding the detail. Oh, so that's one way to make the uh, make it faster instead of you know layering it with paint. Yeah, but not really. It's like you need to wait also, but not that long. Like not paint. that. N- not also. It's like um, you need to know what the material you need to make. Mm-hmm. Uh, the material that you need to make the costume. Some costumes are good uh, if you paint it, but ah. some good are better you m- using layer a leather. Yeah. Ah, I see. And then after this, we have another 
another slideshow of um, another cosplay. Let's see. Wow. Adolf. So there's Adolf and Poison Ivy. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I, 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 I'm speechless. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about about this, but it's just wow. Look at that. Look How at you s why? I mean, it's just amazing. I don't know. I just get the feel, like he just said, like in photo or modeling. You need to get the feel. And I certainly get the feel from Adolf. I don't know why it feels kind of sad. Yeah, my wife cheated on me. <laughs> don't spoil that. So basically, look at that. I mean, the difference between your female cosplay and your male cosplay, that's a big difference there. But you look good in both, like in female character and in a male character. Really? Yeah. Oh. I mean, what's the difference between like doing female and doing male other than the costumes? Actually, it's Maybe not about the makeup? Makeup is quite real, quite different, and how I walk is also different. I mean, like if I cosplay as Adolf, I should walking like a man, <laughs> like a man, a man. <laughs> be a man, be a man. <laughs> and if I cosplay as uh, Poison Ivy, I must be like, oh yeah. Don't do that <laughs> with Adolf now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry <laughs> for Adolf. So, <laughs> so basically, in uh, in the makeup, it's pretty different, and the uh, costume measurements also different. Ah, because oh. if become a, co a poison ivy, I must be using a bunch of bra. Ah. So it's more <laughs> boyzy. <laughs> so <laughs> the the size is more larger than Adolf size. Of course, Adolf is a man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I'm talking about cosplays that you have done so many cosplays and so many achievements that I can't spell out. There's more than 20 or even more than 30. Mm. And you are now known as a judge in cosplay event. Yeah. How did that come? I don't know. You don't know. You, you were just asked suddenly. Yeah. So it's not just like suddenly like, can you become a guest star on our event? Huh? <laughs> Everything, the email is like, what? Guest star? Am I really enough for that? Uh. I mean, like, I never think that I, uh, I am really that good. I just have fun with it. I see. It's really, really confusing. Shocking, surprising. Yeah. yeah. But now, are you happy with it? Yeah, because I can see other people doing cosplay yeah. on stage, how they put the effort. So I see cosplayer from other city and their event is like, oh, so. It's city have uh, their own event. Cosplay event. Yeah, and really, really different from Jakarta. Even Manado and Makassar is different. Ah, I see. So, so being being the being a guester or a judge for a cosplay event, it makes you fly here and there. Yeah. So how many places have you visited? Mm, not too much. Jakarta, Bandung. No, uh, no. Manado? Only I go to Palu, Manado, Banjarmasin, Pekanbaru, Makassar, Medan? Medan? Pontianak? Pontianak? Surabaya. Surabaya. Semarang? <laughs> Bekasi is a city. Uh, it's a another galaxy. Oh, <laughs> you have visited nine in big cities in Indonesia. Yeah. Wow. I, really I think more, I don't know. I Take I me along <laughs> along with you, let me fly. <laughs> of course, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can work together in a project. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so what do you usually do for the shoot? Random. Random. So do you usually decide the place or mm, not the really. photographer decides uh, the place? Photographer. Photographer decides the yeah. place. Because uh, sometimes I just asking like, hey, I wanna to cosplay this, I wanna to take a photo of this, so what do you think? Uh. The the place is really fit with this costume. And I also tell the character and the story and uh, it's like all and the details. Because and I'm go to not a person it. that really owes not Usually go outside the house, under my school, home, school, home, school, home, school, home, event, school, home, event, school, home, is that <laughs> something like that? So I'm asking the photographer that really know the place that really good. I see. So when doing photo shoot, like the photographer, um, you usually hire professional ones 
No, my friend. Oh, your friends. I see. So, about the photo shoot though, like, um, you have visited so many places, you have um, so many experience in like the modeling, the posing, and you have been to many places for photo shoot and stuff. From all the cities that you have visited, which one is your favorite? Can I? Except home? Except home? No, 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 home. <laughs> I want to tell. Um, overseas, okay? Sure. Japan. Japan. Oh, you have been to Japan for photo shoot? Uh, yeah. But actually, it's not for photo shoot. It's I've been invi invited for Tokyo Game Show on 2014. Yeah. And, and what was it about? Yeah, and it was so amazing. Say it was about game, right? Yeah, Tokyo Game Show. But it's not only game event. It's a cosplay also event. But well, there's a lot. Of amazing cosplayer, there is like, <gasps> oh my god, who am I? <laughs> who am I? <laughs> and there's a every same like in even in Jakarta, there's a photographer that wandering ah. around taking photo, and he's taking photo of me, and the result is really good. <laughs> okay, I mean like okay, tell no. me a lot more later. After this, we still have another segment, so okay. stay tuned and face to face. Welcome back to Face to Face, and we're here in the final segment with Yuki Torakeji. Yeah, I wanna cry. Why? <laughs> Why? It's so fast. It's so fast, but I have a lot of fun talking about cosplay oh with you. Oh, really? Oh my god, really? so sweet you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you, we, we talk about Tokyo Game Show when yeah. you went to Japan, yeah. that's pretty far away. So, about, uh, since you said that it's not just about game, it's also about cosplay, so what did you what kind of character did you cosplay? I uh, on day one I'm going uh, I'm cosplay as Teostra from Monster Hunter, mm -hmm. and and day two I'm cosplay as Maeda KG from mm -hmm. Sengoku Basara but female version. Female yeah. version. I see. So it's only two days. Yeah, public days only two. But ah. actually, Tokyo Games is four days, but two days before is for business event. I see. Okay. So. Do you think you will keep on cosplaying even after you have a family? Yeah. You think you want to find a husband who is also a cosplayer? No. No. <laughs> oh, but I forgot that you have a boyfriend already. <laughs> oh, so you read my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do follow you. You're my idol. I stalk you sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Well, yeah. He uh, support me. He supports you. Not take a responsibility of giving me a lot of cosplay <laughs> but well he say it's okay I'm going to cosplay I see if he doesn't allow me I just I'm still cosplaying this is my hobby Passion, hobby you, you have your own me. hobby you can stop me <laughs> <laughs> then if you have a child if you have children uh? will you bring them along in to cosplay yeah it's look Cute, you know, having my like like uh, having them dress up as Pikachu yeah, or Pokemon. It's, like it's so cute. cute. <laughs> oh you have God. your own Pikachu to bring to the event. Yeah. Hi, welcome. Take a picture of Pikachu and um, female as Ketchum or something. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. But well, we don't know no, the future. But I'm on my plan. I'm still going to cosplay. No matter what. No matter Kay? what. Okay. <laughs> so talk. Can can we know about your cosplay? The upcoming cosplay that you plan to cosplay. Still having a lot of Mariros that from Mary that, Rose, are mm -hmm. that that are alive and terraformer. So I think I wanted to cosplay Adolf, another version. Another version. And maybe some I don't know. It's quite a lot. Forgot. Oh my god. I don't want to remember. It's quite a lot. It's like quite a lot. Never ending cosplay. <laughs> 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 then do you have any like? Uh, a character that you really want to cosplay right now, but you still haven't progressed. Uh, every every character on my cosplay is like, I want to really, 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 really cosplay as her. I want to really, really, really cosplay as him. Something <laughs> like that. So, 
Every character that I cosplay is my favorite character. I see. So what are your hopes towards the cosplay community? Then? I hope the community become more bigger, more awesome, because I really have, look, there's a bright future in For this. cosplay community. Yeah, because it, this is a creative community. Why not? I see. So let's uh, make a conclusion of today's talk. Apparently, this is pretty much the end. So basically, um, you started cosplay when you were young. Young. <laughs> For faster young. reason. <laughs> you were young, and then you started loving in. You started going into modeling. You started to learn to sew and stuff. Yeah. And then you also go to places, to cities, and also overseas to Japan for a cosplay event. Yeah. And then you get to know um, like advantages, the plus for cosplay. You yeah. get to know a lot of friends. Um, you get to see many cosplays, many awesome people. You get to help people. And yeah, you learn new things. And then perhaps you have a motivation for the viewers? Well, cosplay maybe looks weird. We're wearing a wig, weird makeup, but this is what you like. Just do it. Something okay. like that. So, so do what you like, just do it. Yeah. Okay. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently this is the end of today's talk show. Oh, Thank really? Oh. Thank you. Thank you for coming so far away. Thank you for coming. It's so okay. <laughs> it's okay to We can talk a lot more after uh, this. Pretty girls. Oh my god, <laughs> I touched her hand. <gasps> okay, stop it. <laughs> Okay, viewers, thank you for watching and see you next week. And thank you for the crews for making everything possible. And really happy to have this covered up as Lina Lee. <laughs> thank you and see you next week. Bye.